Every organism actually has a necessity and a purpose, okay? And remember, part of an organism's necessity is to be food for something else. Part of defining what an, what an, uh, an organism is, <clears throat> is it's where it is in the energy cycle. There are a group of organisms called autotrophs. Autotrophs, A-U-T-O. These are organisms that directly uh, use sunlight, plants, algae. The organisms that consume them are called uh, primary. Primary consumers. Which turns out that's what we are. We're primary consumers. We're not autotrophs. Although, let me give you a little bizarre caveat to that. When you look at the structure, the biochemical structure of our hemoglobin, it is, it's what's called a porphyrin ring. It's a porphyrin ring, which means it is the same, it's, in fact, it's almost identical to chlorophyll. We all know that chlorophyll takes, it's what plants use to take sunlight and convert it into energy, ATP, which is biological energy. The only diff the big difference there is that the, in the chlorophyll molecule at the center, the battery, the mineral that acts as the battery is magnesium. And in hemoglobin, the mineral that acts as the battery is iron. Other than that, they have these alternating double bonds on four pyrrole rings that are connected by carbons, and it's called a porphyrin ring, and it's a photoreceptive uh, thing, cell, molecule. That means it's able to take electrons and take that energy and use it. And that, that actually, that molecule is why and how all of life on Earth exists. Well, it turns out that our blood has it as well. Now, why in the world if, why in the universe if everything, as we've already, uh, we've already acknowledged and realized, everything exists out of necessity, right? There's no fluff. We just talked about the fact that autotrophs can take light and convert it into energy, right? So when they do that, in order to do that, they must have a specific structure that does that. And that structure is the molecule we just described, the porphyrin ring. So structure and function. Structure defines function. Anatomy defines physiology. Those are other words that talk about the same thing. For example, our hands have an opposing thumb. This is an anatomical feature. The other hominids do not have this. The gorilla and the chimp do not have this to the extent that we do. And that's a big deal. That little anatomical feature kind of separates us in a lot of ways. But the point is this, because of this anatomy, there are, it permits certain functions. I can now turn a knob. I can now uh, uh, write with a pencil. So the, the function of anything is determined by its structure. And this is anatomy and physiology.